and welcome back guys so we're gonna go ahead into Jacobstown now I'm right in front of it, it took me a little while to get over here and we're gonna go ahead and start doing the side questing over here uh, the goal is to level up the character enough where we can start going into some of the vaults to get loot and to get more resources uh, the reason we skipped vault 34 because that one's very heavily rated and we're gonna need a lot of supplies to go into that vault, particularly based on how irradiated it is. So that one's going to take a little extra time. We're going to need a rad suit and all kinds of stuff just to go in that one. Anyways, hope everyone's enjoying the gameplay. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the scrap button, and let's go play some Fallout New Vegas. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Doc's inside the lodge. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. They expand, fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it, eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed. Ambition, jealousy, we'll see. So, was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. Town was broken hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well.
Another human. One was enough. I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. This neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. I prefer the solid. Yes. Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. You're human. They might be willing... I'm...
Our business is with the muties, not you. We're still owed half, 2,500 caps. Pay up and we'll be on our way. A deal's a... Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not gonna...
Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll be waiting. My, but that lucky 38 is a large building. Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting.
The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, now I smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Our lives our decision to make. We're tired of sitting around in Jacob's town waiting for a cure. There are caches of stealth boys out there. With a the Mark II in hand, it shouldn't be difficult to upgrade every one of them. I knew humans could never be reasonable! I knew it! Stupid, stupid humans! I'll keep... Marcus isn't going to be happy about the deaths, but I guess they were unavoidable. At least I got a lot of useful data from the experiment. This brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. If the prototype was constantly in use on a living subject, however, perhaps Lily might be willing to wear the prototype for a longer duration. The data would be invaluable. All right, I'll dismantle the prototype to avoid any further incidents with the Nightkin. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up.
So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still... As for your request, it... As for the price for this... Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Have a seat. This will take a while. Is there something else I can do for you? Promising, but I won't be able to... So when we come back next time, we'll be doing some side questing, try to get some levels up and go finish off some of these side quests, and then eventually we'll start doing the main quest. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button, and I'll see you again in the next video.